Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Gonzo Marino. I got a Glary GST right here. I bought it a little while back. I upgraded it, so here it goes. Okay, so I got this guitar in the mail. It's a Glary. The brand is called Glary. And I got this guitar. The box was flimsy. It looked like a pancake wrapped around the guitar. That's what it looked like, okay? I saw the box. I said, oh my gosh, no, please no. Came in, I opened it up. It was nice. I'm not going to do an unboxing video because it's a waste of time. You know how that is. But it came in in great shape. This guitar came in in really good shape and it almost came in tune. I mean, when I mean in tune, it wasn't perfect, but it was almost in tune. That's weird. So, I've done a lot of things to this guitar. If you know me, you know my videos, you've seen my videos, you know that I'm not really, uh, I'm not Steve Vai, I'm not Nuno Betancourt. I'm just a drummer. I like to play guitar every once in a while. And if I learn a little bit of something, I like to put it to practice, right? So, I wanted to start doing luthier work just to see what I have been missing all these years, you know, playing with bands and stuff. I, uh, I've come across some guitar players that try to teach me some things and I always bypass that. I say, no, I'm never going to need that, you know, whatever. But no, when I got these guitars, I learned a lot from setting up the neck, the bridge, uh, changing pickups. I changed this pickup. This is a hot rail pickup. I put it in myself. Uh, I blocked the bridge on the back with a piece of wood. Uh, change the pods, change the plate for the input. I did a lot of things. I put a shim in the neck. Uh, I put some uh, tuning pegs, changed the nut. By the way, the first thing that you want to do with these guitars when you get them is change the plastic nut. It's a plastic nut. It just sounds like crap. It's plastic, obviously. You can get bone, you can get tusk, and it will change. I mean... From 20 to 30 percent of the sound I believe it's nice and bright and I mean there it's just loud right a lot louder than plastic I don't think plastic carries vibration any better than, than gelatin <laughs> anyway so I love this guitar the way it plays I'm not gonna play it for you right now obviously because the sound is not gonna matter by the time it gets to your end of uh, your ear spectrum but it's a great guitar. I put really low strings on it because I like those riffs, heavy, you know, just chunky riffs. And uh, I like it a lot. It feels great. It's not a really expensive guitar. I didn't spend hundreds of dollars on upgrading it. I just, I went along with what, you know, if I saw a pickup on eBay that was cheap, I bought it. If I saw, you know, the plates, the bridge, everything that was black, I wanted it looking black. And on my other YouTube uh, video, by the way, Somebody asked me, hey, how do you get it looking so black, That, that uh, the pit guard? You know, every pit guard in Glary comes with a white line all around it. And it was just some something so simple as grabbing a black Sharpie a permanent marker. And I just went around and covered it up. But be careful, though, because you might run out of the, out of the you, you can get the paint. So don't mess it up. I almost messed these up. But yeah, that's what I did. That's how I got it looking the inside. I mean, not the inside, but the, the plate or the the pit guard looking so dark. I did not put black on these because I just want to kind of keep it, you know, like a classic look. But yes, I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, hopefully everybody gets a glare. I mean, I got this one at the time. It was like $69. Uh, now they're like $75. So be on the lookout. You know, they keep going up. But if I was you, if you're learning how to play guitar, you want to learn how to, you know, you want to learn how to adjust a guitar, you know, you don't want to mess up on a good guitar. You want to mess up on a guitar that you can continue to mess around with. And, you know, if you mess it up, you can come back and fix it, right? Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like my video. And, uh, yeah, man, if you like anything, you want a review of something, let me know. I'm going to start doing reviews of speakers, too. I got a speaker coming up that I'm going to do a review about because nobody believes me that this is like extremely loud 8 inch speaker. It's a PA speaker. Anyways, subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon.